This video shows how you can make a simple collage using Pixelmator Pro with the polygonal lasso tool. So I've got a cute little pug here and I'm just using the eraser tool and the smart erase tool to kind of clean up and get rid of the background and we'll hide him. And then, so one thing that the polygonal lasso tool is good for is selecting things with straight sides. So this would be kind of like a classic example of what it would be good for if I just wanted to like select this doghouse here and I didn't want the background, I just want the doghouse. So say I've done that, I finished off my selection, um, I want to get rid of everything around it. So I can go invert down there and then just hit delete and that's going to get rid of everything outside of my selection. Then if I want to get rid of the little marching ants that tell me what's selected, I can just go Command D, Command D, which is deselect, and they'll go away. Um, and I can always just hide and reveal whatever layers I want while I'm working so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And then besides kind of the classic example where you're trying to separate something out that has straight edges, you can kind of just use it to create stylized shapes to make a collage. So for example, I have a picture of a tree trunk here, just making a kind of star-shaped selection and just invert and delete, gets rid of the background, kind of hiding layers as I go. I'm doing kind of a little lightning strike type shape on this one. Delete, Command-D to deselect. So just kind of going through with various designs and patterns and so again click let go click let go it makes shapes if you make a mistake by the way if you kind of make one click that you don't want hitting the delete key on your keyboard will take you back one step so you can kind of redo it if you just are getting frustrated and you're like get me out of this thing like get rid of all of it hit escape key in the top left corner esc that will get you out of whatever thing that you've accidentally selected with your polygonal lasso tool. So I'm just going to keep doing that with various ones. This one I'm going to show you something a little bit different. So um, so again, I'll just kind of make some clicks and let go, click, let go, make the little selection of the polka dots. And this time instead of doing invert, delete, um, I'm actually going to Command C, Command V, so copy, paste. And if you look on the left in the layers palette there, you can see that now it has made two layers. You can't really tell because they're right on top of each other, but if you move one, then you can see like, okay, there actually are two there. Um, so you can also use copy, paste with, with selections besides just uh, you know removing parts of it. So of course, if I had this astronaut, normally I would probably want to go in and like erase it or do a really clean selection. But actually using the polygonal lasso can look kind of cool in like a artsy stylized way when you're doing collages like this. And by the way, if you're trying to transform and like rotate something and it's not it's not rotating for you, hold down the command key and, and then it will rotate however you want. You can freely transform and rotate it by holding down command. So again, here I have to hold down command to get it to rotate like that. And notice the astronaut was kind of down too low, kind of hiding under things. I just dragged him up in the layers palette to pull him higher up. 